Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all well. So in this video we are going to be reviewing Captain America Civil War, which for me is just such an awesome movie. It's everything we would have wanted the final, you know, Captain America trilogy movie to be and then some. It kind of concludes the arc of Captain America and the Winter Soldier and, and has like, you know, so many characters from the MCU within it, but also keeps the core characters within the, you know, Captain America universe at its core. You know, it's definitely my favourite Captain America movie. And I just feel like, you know, Civil War was just such an epic cross-team event in the comics. The fact that they brought it to the big screen was just, you know, it was, it's just so epic within itself. But it was also just seemed like something that was never going to be possible. But the fact that it has been possible and the fact that it was on screen and the fact that it was such an awesome movie just makes Captain America Civil War just such an awesome, epic delight of a movie to watch and I just can't wait to talk about it with you in this video. So Captain America Civil War is set a year after the events in Sokovia which is you know all the stuff that happened in the Avengers Age of Ultron movie and one day the Avengers made up of Captain America, Black Widow, Falcon and the Scarlet Witch are trying to stop a villain in Lagos called Crossbones from obtaining a biological weapon. They do um, stop him, but as a result, they accidentally kill a group of Wakandan humanitarian workers. And as a result of all of this stuff that's happening, the United Nations decide that they want to pass a legislation through the government, which is going to be able to control the Avengers and to be able to say, you know, when they can and cannot go out to kind of stop the villains because kind of giving them total freedom is just not a good thing because it's just causing too much catastrophes and um, you know innocent people are losing their lives so they kind of want to pass this act. Robert Downey Jr's character Iron Man is for this legislation because he feels a lot of responsibility from what happened in Sokovia and you know all of the stuff that happened with him being releasing Ultron this crazy machine that was trying to destroy the world and you know he just kind of feels guilty and just feels that having this legislation is a better thing to do because superheroes need to be controlled. Whereas Captain America feels like this isn't a good idea because superheroes need to keep their independence and as a result of that all the different heroes are kind of split into two teams. Some that support Captain America's independence initiative and some that are happy to sign the treaty to keep superheroes at bay through this legislation. The legislation, if we are looking at you know factual correctness, it was slightly different in the comics because it was more of a superhero registration act which was, you know, loads of heroes that you can't, you don't know who they are, they need to be unveiled to the public so that the public knows. So, slightly different take on the comics but, you know, it, this version works for the cinematic screening. While sort of that's happening, we have the... Captain America Winter Soldier storyline still continuing through. So loads of people are after the Winter Soldier's head and Captain America kind of wants to keep him safe because you know he kind of sees him as his childhood friend Bucky. So so that storyline is is kind of on the one hand and then the other side is the Civil War stuff which is kind of Avenger versus Avenger in kind of like an epic storyline battle. The characters and actors in this movie, honestly, are just awesome. Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. just absolutely kill it as Captain America and Iron Man. They just do such a good job. And you really, really, really understand, you know, where they stand with the whole Civil War movement. You really understand their motivations behind why they have certain opinions. And the storytelling is just done in such a good way because throughout the movie, you're really, um, you're kind of torn between, you know, who should you side on and you can really, um, you're flipping between the two of them throughout the film so it's just really really good storytelling because you can really see the pros and cons of this massive decision so from a story narrative point of view I was really impressed with how they did that and also you can really understand why all of the other different characters kind of side with either Team Captain America or Team Iron Man so you know how they've done the supporting characters with that is really, really good as well. In terms of the new characters to this ensemble piece, I just wanted to talk about them because, you know, we've never seen them 
with another group of characters on this scale before. So Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther was just done so well. I feel like he, you know, fitted in really, really well and something really monumental happens in this movie with this character that really brings him to the centre. And yeah, Chadwick Boseman just did a really, really good job in bringing Black Panther to, to this universe. And, you know, as part of the storyline, he's, he's a core player and I just feel like he fitted in really, really well with the, with the rest of the characters. Scott Lang, so that was just another really, really good example of how a character can work within this ensemble piece. So, you know, we've seen in Ant-Man that, you know, Scott Lang is a very funny character and he just fitted in so well with the, with the, rest, of the, with the rest of the cast. And I just feel like, yeah, Paul Rudd just did a really, really good job of keeping his character really authentic and true to who he was in Ant-Man and it's just, you know, it just worked really well in the whole Civil War place. And obviously we have to talk about Spider-Man. So Spider-Man just literally feel like he was lifted and shifted from the comic book and just placed into this whole world. He's just everything you would have wanted Spider-Man to be. He's really funny, he's kind of in awe of uh, all these big superhero characters and he's kind of just, you know, you can tell like he's got like his drawer on the floor the whole time because he's just so happy to kind of be part of this um, ensemble piece and you know his relationship with Robert Downey Jr's Iron Man is really nice to see as well and you know he isn't he isn't a massive part of the movie but while he is there you do understand like a little bit of his backstory and you know he just in a similar vein to Black Panther and Ant-Man he just fits in really really well um, and obviously part of that massive battle sequence that everyone's kind of seen little clips of, he just fitted in really, really well. So, you know, overall, from a character's and actor's point of view, this movie just absolutely killed it. The visuals in this movie are just awesome. Like, the fight sequences and the chase sequences is definitely one of the things that made Winter Soldier just such an awesome, epic movie. And, you know, this is obviously a continuation of that franchise. And they've just lifted the bar to a completely new level. So, the, you know, there are chase sequences, there are fight sequences, and they've just been handled in such a brilliant way. On top of the fact that, you know, you have all these new characters with this new Captain America franchise. And, you know, all the powers that you can see them with, all of the different camera angles, all of the different, yeah, all the different fight sequences and chase sequences, like I said a second ago. It just makes it just like a visually spectacular movie and I was just literally enjoying it from start to finish. It was just such a visual masterpiece and yeah, definitely one to watch from a visuals point of view. In terms of comparison, I absolutely loved Captain America Civil War. I thought it was the best Captain America movie. So in terms of that, in terms of that trilogy, it's definitely my favourite one. In terms of you know, a third movie with different characters. I feel like it's a lot better than Iron Man 3. I think it's way better than Thor 3. So yeah, I think comparatively, it's definitely one of the better ones. I think it's a little bit unfair to compare it to Avengers because it's it's a Captain America movie with other characters in it. But that said, you know, comparatively to the other Avengers movie, I think it's kind of, it is kind of on par with them because it's obviously got, you know, a mass array of different characters in it. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's a Captain America movie with a Civil War storyline in it as well. But if we were to compare it to Avengers, I think it's on par with them. But that said, it's, it's definitely the best Captain America movie and the best trilogy movie. And I think, you know, even outside of the MCU universe, I think it's a real great example of how you should handle a trilogy. I just think, yeah, it just absolutely killed it and it's definitely one of my favourite movies of all time. Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed watching Captain America Civil War. Growing up, reading the Civil War storyline in the comics was just such a such an awesome thing to see. And, you know, it's been something that I've always wanted to kind of see in the big screen. And to not only see it on the big screen, but to see it handled in such a brilliant way was just such a great delight for me personally. And, you know, it had awesome storytelling, it had great characters, great visuals, and just the narrative throughout the entire movie was just so well done. And, you know, the inclusion of new characters as part of this ensemble piece, you know, concluding this three-part Captain America storyline. Just everything about this movie was just handled in such a great way, which is why this movie has to get an 8.5 out of 10 from me. I'd love to hear what you think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.